Youth Runner here with Hank Dilworth from Liberty. Uh, big showing by the Arizona Star uh, on home soil. There's a Twilight Festival at Toga Sticks, 1454 and, uh, and change six guys under 15. We've never seen that ever uh, before on this course at the Desert Twilight Festival, just to be part of, uh, of that history, right? Like you had, we talked, you know, in San Diego, you had to do a lot of this by yourself. Yeah. It was like a, it was like it was like a, a group effort with uh, with all those guys up there. What uh, what did that mean just to be able to kind of rise to the level of that competition and just have you know so many guys you know performing at such a high level? Um, I think it really pushed me to do a lot better. I don't think I would have gone under 15 without those guys to push me. I and a lot of those guys really just took it out there, and I knew I had to go. If it was, it was wild. Crazy. Absolutely. As a guy that is so used to the dry heat, you know, of, uh, of Arizona, the, uh, the fact that it was kind of more of a, of a, you know, of a sticky, hum uh, humid situation. Yeah. I mean, I know that you're a guy that's, you know, gonna, you know, gonna deal with all, all challenges or whatnot. But like, was that, was, uh, was that a unique situation? Like, that's, that's something that isn't as common here in Arizona, right? Um, I it did feel warmer than last year. I I don't know how much it actually affected me. I just kind of told myself I'm gonna go under 15 regardless of what it takes. And so that was just my mentality going into the race. I love it, man. Uh, obviously, we're only on September 27th, but two great weeks for you in a row. Like just how, you know, knowing that the next real big challenge for you is November 2nd at Cave Creek, like just how encouraging are these back-to-back -back races for uh, for you, one that you had to do essentially by yourself, another, you know, really responding to the challenge of such a great group, like to now, you know, really be able to, you know, kind of put together a, a meaningful, you know, training stretch, like to get ready for the postseason, but just how how much belief and how much, you know, kind of encouragement and optimism is there after, the, after San Diego and tonight? I'm feeling really good. I'm really excited to we're going to kind of train through districts and stuff so i'm excited to kind of get some good quality weeks of training in before sectionals and state and just put on a great show awesome man we certainly did tonight uh again one of six athletes uh under 15 never seen that depth ever before on any course uh in desert twilight history let alone at uh, toka sticks uh and as charlie voss from new mexico said it's only going to be faster on November 23rd. But Hank Dilworth's up for the challenge. Hank, congratulations. Well done. Thank you.